Hello and welcome to the Battlefield Top Plays. In today's episode we have a load of clips from Battlefield 4, a nice throwback episode to a game that I really love. To start off we have a really awesome only in Battlefield 4 montage of clips that I've put together. They've been sent in from Violet, Elfie and Parallax. These guys are insanely good at Battlefield 4 and have really pulled off some insane clips that you'll be seeing over the next couple of minutes.
Next up, we have some clips sent in from High Sound. This guy is a really good battlefield player and he's proving it with some insane sniping feats. My favorite has to be the first one that you see here on Siege of Shanghai. It's a really aggressive clip and he also gets that triple collateral, a super rare thing to pull off in Battlefield 4, using the CS5 to really dominate the enemy team. I'll leave you with a selection of these because in my opinion, Battlefield 4 is one of the best games to watch pure gameplay Turn up the volume and just enjoy these amazing clips with some Battlefield 4 soundtracks to go behind it. Eddie's next up with an insane jet snipe, and as if one wasn't enough, check out what he does next. I've got eyes on a hostile soldier located north of you. Savon's next up with a really nice clip on Operation Locker. Using the AEK, he goes on a 15 man kill streak, absolutely decimating the enemy team from start to finish with some great accuracy and really good positioning to get the edge on these enemy players. A couple of clips sent in from Rogue Trooper. The first one is going to be on Gormwood Railway. A really nice long shot using the small. We'll cut on the digital PG. The second is a similar sort of clip, using the transport helicopter to get himself an advantageous position on this unlucky jet pilot. Next up, two trick shots sent in from Lonely Toe. Check these ones out. This is what Battlefield 4 was really renowned for back in the day. You can pull off this sort of stuff in any game you play on BF4, whilst you can't really do it 
in BF1 or BF5. I hope dice go back to this sort of stuff in the future. I know it's not really very realistic, but it certainly is fun to play and great fun to watch. Next up, a clip sent in from SaltyFole188. He's going to be playing on Operation Locker, rocking the M16A4, going on a really aggressive streak through Charlie Objective, dominating the enemy team, getting himself a load of kills in the space of around a minute to 90 seconds. Again, another Operation Locker clip, this one sent in from Dyra. He's going to be playing Making Use of the Smoke as one of these Operation Locker aggressive pushes into a load of enemies, getting himself 11 kills in quick succession. He sent in a very similar clip with a similar amount of kills, again using the Type 88 LMG, getting himself a load of kills once again on probably the most overplayed map on BF4. Next up, a selection of clips sent in from Azuma Shirako. This is going to be infantry-based top plays from this guy. Really nice stuff on some maps that you rarely see on the Battlefield top plays. You rarely saw them back in the day as well, but now the game's a little bit older. You don't often see these DLC maps coming out, although one of them is on Rogue Transmission. A really nice clip, this first one. And then moving on, we've got some nice infantry plays as well. Thanks for sending them in. <laughs> what the fuck? Ich hinter yeah. das ganze Team, Digga. Was ist hier denn los? Hallo. TDM? Nein, ganz normal TDM, Digga. What the fuck? Oh mein Gott. <lacht> Digga. Ich seh noch einer. Alter, was ist los, Digga? Ey, das was ist das, Finishing off today's episode, I want to showcase a couple more of those clips from Violet Elfie and Parallax. These guys sent me in a huge amount of clips. It must have taken them so long to put them all together. And I can't thank them enough for sending them so you guys get to watch them. Go check out their channels in the description. You'll find all the players featured in today's episode down there. These two, though, a special shout out to them because this is just sensational stuff. 
The fact that they've gone to the effort of recording both perspectives as well is fantastic stuff, especially when you're putting together a video from my point of view. It's great to see what happens from both ends. Hopefully you enjoyed it. A bit different and arguably some of the best Battlefield 4 clips I've ever seen in the game. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.